Is it game over for Kamala Harris when it comes to this upcoming election? Well, if you think that you have seen it all, then think twice because you need to watch this. When we talk about bringing down prices and well, making life listen to this more very affordable carefully. for people, yeah. what are one or two specific things you have in mind for that? I try to explain to some people who may not have had the she same does. experience, you know, if, if it, a lot of people will relate to this. You know, I grew up in a neighborhood of folks who were very proud of their lawn, you know? Now, listen to this. She said that I try to explain this to the people, but it's really hard to understand, and indeed it is, that she grew up in a community where people used to love their lawns. Well, what American people need right now is to know the solutions, the plan, that will drive down the prices of basic necessities and at the same time what is your plan to cope up with this worst inflation and you've seen the answer well don't worry we are going to show you this important interview in this video and a good part of it where she presented some plans for american people and small businesses and those programs and plans are really important and yes a number of people, including millions of Americans, endorse it. But one thing that we all need to understand that after this interview, things have changed. Look at this. Harris' first solo interview proves candidate is unprepared for office, says an online critic. Never have seen a politician this nervous, this unprepared for the office they are running for, one ex-user said. Well, remember that things were changed after the assassination attempt on former President Donald J. Trump. A number of analysts and experts say that, yes, this is Donald J. Trump's election. But then tables turned in the debate between Harris and Trump. So what happened there? Well. According to a number of experts, Kamala Harris won that debate because she pinned down Trump in such a manner that he forgot his strategy to come aggressive on the opponent and what he did, he was all about defending himself. Well, what do you think about this situation? Remember that we are going to break down each and everything for you in this video as well as we are going to show you this very important video clip from this interview to ABC Philadelphia where Kamala Harris said some very important things that shocked the entire nation and some of the things that she said that didn't really make sense to American people. Well, first, let's get into the update, but before I get into the details, I would like to ask you for a little favor to please smash the like button on this video as it helps this video and the channel as well. So let's see the details and see that what do we have and then we'll show you that very important video clip from the interview. Social media users declared that Vice President Kamala Harris first solo sit down interview this week proved that she does not have what it takes to assume the office of the presidency. What do you think about it? If you've watched that interview, and of course we are going to show you that interview, like a good part of it in this video, and we'll talk about it as well, we'll break it down for you, that what do you think after this interview, Kamala Harris is still the favorite in the upcoming election? Or do you think that Donald J. Trump is the choice? Moving on with the details, Harris' interview with Philadelphia 6 ABC anchor Brian Taft went viral on social media Friday as it featured her giving answers that were criticized as being overlong and devoid of substance about her actual economic policies. Harris' critics on X claimed that the conversation proved her unfitness for the office. Oh my goodness, this is an absolute train wreck digital strategist Greg Price wrote about the interview on the social media platform and that's what he said. Oh my goodness, this is an absolute train wreck. Reporter, what are your specific plans to bring down prices? Camilla, I grew up in a middle class bid. I grew up in a neighborhood of folks who were very proud of their lawn. You know, well, this was indeed very confusing. You remember? When it comes to the current president, Joe Biden, people were talking about his mental state and his cognitive decline. Well, now Kamala Harris, instead of giving straight answers, she's just ditching the questions with some very strange sentences. 
just like I grew up in a community where people were really proud of their lawn and people are asking, does it really make sense? Well, yes, Donald J. Trump was criticized for all of his remarks about different issues and in the debate when the host asked like what are your plans at one instance he said that i have concept of a plan we are working on it and people criticized about it they made memes on that and there's a lot of things going on well this election is indeed very important and it seems like there's a war going on between trump and kamala harris well, let us know in the comments below, what do you think about this whole situation? Because it comes down to you, to American people, that what are your priorities and who's the best pick when it comes to the American economy and the inflation as well? Because remember that inflation is here and there is no doubt about it. The prices of grocery are up by 21% in the past three years, according to a report. And now things have changed completely because it's not Trump versus Biden where Trump was a clear winner. Now it's Kamala versus Trump. Now let's not wait and watch this very important interview. Well, we're gonna break it down for you, but remember that watch it very carefully and then tell us in the comments that what do you think about this situation? Remember that after you watch this, we'll come back and we'll break it down for you because this is very important and indeed, According to the both candidates, Trump and Kamala, that this is an historical election, well, it's proving to be one. Well, let's watch it and then we'll come back and break it down for you. I wonder if we could drill down on that a little bit. When we talk about bringing down prices. Yes, and listen to this very carefully. This is very important. And look what, what Ryan Tepp is asking. things you have in mind for that? Well, I'll start with this. Um, I grew up a middle class kid. My mother raised my sister and me. She worked very hard. When he asked about the economy and the plan, and she starts giving these stories. Well, let's continue watching. She was able to finally save up enough money to buy our first house when I was a teenager. Um, I grew up in a community of hardworking people, you know, construction workers and nurses and teachers. And I try to explain to Where some is the answer? The we need the answer. You know, if, 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 a lot of people will relate to this. You know, I grew up in a neighborhood of folks who were very proud of their lawn. Lawns? You know? Uh, yes, she said that. I grew up in a community where people were really proud of their lawn. Let us know in the comments below. What do you think about this whole situation? Because this situation and this interview is indeed turning to be a disaster for Democratic Party right now. Well, remember that right here on Credit Vital channel, we upload videos every single day for you. So if you have any questions at all, then let us know in the comments below and we will be happy to answer each and every question of yours as Credit Vital channel will always be with you in your good and difficult times. Well, thank you so much for all of your love and support. We will see you in the next video very soon. Till then, please take care and have a nice day.